guys what vacuums we use to do a quick little natural dirt here got quite a few to choose from could use blue black um haven't used in this rewind in a while ultra vision has been getting plenty of attention from me i've been using that plenty um i used this victory plenty so it's finally getting a break let's use eh. this guy Ooh. This plain view two original. This is one of those original ones. Or at least the original model of it. Let me go get the filter from the 6594. What do you guys think? I put in these hooks. This used to be a door here, and I framed it up behind, and I put plywood up. So, and these, this plywood is so thick. Um, this plywood is so thick that I didn't even have to go into studs. It's like that thick. Um, but yeah. Oh dear. So I have this little foam piece as well, as long, along with the actual one. And back in. Yeah, I still, this one didn't come with one. Well, it just didn't come with one. But yeah, I still need to clean this thing out. I'm probably just gonna blow it out with the air compressor because I don't feel like washing it out. That's what I've been doing with my current daily driver, this Black & Decker air swivel. When it gets really bad, I just air compress it or blow the whole bin assembly out. It's quite the reliable trash find. <laughs> and it's nice that I'm able to use the shark crevice tool on it. Same fitting. Which is nice because a lot of shark crevice tool, well, the problem with the sharks is their attachment design, or their uh, fitting design is very odd, so no attachments really work on them. So, yeah. I just used this the other day for something. Um, can't remember what it was. I think I did a review video on this that I still need to post, and I ran it in that video, so that's why it's a little dusty. The outside is just dusty from sitting, but this is one of my best finds yet. It was way too expensive. I probably should have tried to talk them down on the price, but I didn't. So if you guys don't remember, it was it was a seventy dollar purchase, which I regret and I don't. But mostly not because it came with all the attachments. It's in very good condition. Um, you know, so things like the stickers, so their cord has no nicks in it whatsoever. Uh, came with, neither of these clips are broken. Um, came with pretty decent looking elbow filter. Not perfect, but it's fairly decent looking. It's a one owner. Uh, everything just works very smoothly on it. Headlight's still good. Uh, pad. The only reason I just pulled that out of the 6594 is because I had to take the one out of this and put it in the, that, the 6594. So this is actually the one that belongs to this. Um, it was all cleaned out when I got it. Uh, it has a brand new inner and outer, or outer circular filter. The new inner one that I got was like some generic one. So it's not like as nice as the name brand ones, but it was made like, it was like uh, $5 for the inner and outer the new post motor filter for the 6594 and two uh, style 7 belts. So yeah, all for $5. So 
I wasn't really worried about them all being generic. Like, although, the po new post motor filter that goes right here on the 6594 and the belts were name brand. It's just this filter was generic. Which, I don't use this often, so it doesn't need to be a beautiful filter. The only difference is this one isn't washable. What's on the wheel? One thing that's a little worn out on this is the wheels. They're pretty good. Up. And the friction on this wand, well... There is none. <laughs> but, I mean, it came with all the attachments. You can tell that none of them were really used that often because normally there's, like, very big, deep scratches. I mean, there is, like, a couple of random deep scratches in this, but, like, no, like, major scratches on it. No annoying-looking ones. Pedal's not broken. It clicks nicely and gets nice and flat. basically reviewing the freaking thing. Anyways, let's just get to the video, because I already filmed a review for this, so no point in doing it again, because reviews are my least favorite video to do. My room is kind of a fantastic mess. Still trying to finish up cleaning the shark. I just have been lazy. Well, not necessarily. I've been getting all my lawnmowers ready, which I've done a few lawnmower videos as well that I need to post in case some of you might be interested in mowers. Or maybe I can get you interested. Um, but yeah. It's, it's probably going to be impossible to vacuum this rug. Uh, so, yeah. It's probably going to pick up carpet powder because... Um, I don't know. I haven't put carpet powder down in a while, but this thing just seems to find all the carpet powder it can. It's a pretty good agitator and deep cleaner. Cleans pretty well, actually. These older bristles are more well known for their deep cleaning than Dyson's older Dyson bars. DC07s and DC14s are quite bismals of deep cleaners. When I say that, they're freaking horrible. A lot of people are like, oh. DC07 was such a great deep cleaner. It's not. Just because you get a full bin when you use it does not mean it's a good deep cleaner. Because you can go over it with something like this and just watch how much this will pick up after the 07. but it just kind of sounds whiny. This brush roll will eventually be getting replaced and then this brush roll will be going into the original clean view. Is that brush roll still decent, but not good enough for that because that one's supposed to be nice. But this is kind of more of just a whatever vacuum, this original clean view. So the brush roll on this green one will go into this, and then this one will sound a little better. Because this brush roll is totally shot. Like, the end caps fall off easily. They don't even, like, hang on to the brush roll anymore. Like, the moment you pull, pull the brush roll off, the end caps just flop off. <laughs> That's how bad that brush roll is, and it just doesn't sound very nice. So, this one, you can hear the brush roll does sound decent. <laughs> 
has a little bit of a vibrating to the brush roll, but not too horrible. It'll at least be better than the one in this clean view. And then this one will just get a brand new brush roll. Because the one in, because these bristles are really good. So just think about it. This one will be getting a new brush roll. And this brush roll functionally is new, but the bearings are a little worn. This one, bearing shot, end cap shot, bristle shot. Like this thing barely cleans anymore. I don't, when I do use it, it's basically just for fun because I like how it works. Like it's just a nice, nice machine to use. Hey, you guys haven't even watched me pick up all my freaking filthiness. Ouch. Dang, that actually kind of hurt. I bumped my head on that. Damn. Ouch. Man, I'm tired. Probably wouldn't have happened if I wasn't so tired. These are 19 bucks. This whole thing was 19 bucks. I think they're like 30 when not on sale, but 19 bucks on sale. Highly recommend you keep an eye out for that sale because I do not regret that 19 bucks at all. It's very nice because there's a lot of tools shoved into this thing. And if you think about it, there's at least eight tools shoved into their power tools, not just screwdrivers. And you think about it being all over my floor. So they do help. From what I remember, this thing's kind of hard to push on this carpet. But I remember it being hard to push on that carpet, too. Maybe this filter or this new filter is a little bit airflow restrictive as well. I don't know. said in certain directions vacuums actually flatten this carpet like you can see it flattened in this particular area but it be like this not flat. so it just kind of depends on the vacuum and depends on the direction because right here it fluffed it so 
And it just, I think this is actually two different pieces of carpet right here stitched together. I think that's how we did it. It just really did stitch together nicely. So, that could be part of it because it fluffed going that way. I do it like that over here. It doesn't fluff. So, it's weird. But. findings are. Oh yeah. Don't do this very often, but I'm going to do it. Uh, you can see how dusty that filter gets. Because the circular filter doesn't seal very well. I take this thing down to the motor like once every 20 uses maybe, which I do use it that much. I actually have used this a bit recently. Besides the review, do a little mess test here. to have picked up what we tossed on the floor but this is what i mean so see that got dusty because it's not dust going through the filter it's dust getting around the filter where it locks in so that was kind of the problem with these older look that was black before or like more of a dark gray now you can clearly see that there's dust in it and yeah no i didn't put carpet up powder, powder down recently and it still found carpet powder I have not put carpet powder down in here in at least two months. And in there, I do do it maybe once a week because of my cat. But, because it's not like he's like, he pees or poops. He just, on the floor, he just kind of, I don't know, his presence as cats get older. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I do use it in there every once in a while. But I use the black and Decker because I don't care if carpet powder gets in that. Because that's really easy to take down with the motor. Um... But this is just managing to pick up stuff that that thing misses. And that thing's not a horrible deep cleaner. It's just that thing doesn't have, like, the same aggressive brush roll that this has. That thing and this thing probably have the same airflow and suction. It wouldn't surprise me. It's just this has way better brush roll. People are like, oh, airflow is the most important. Your brush roll really does make a difference. That's why, in my opinion, these Kirby's aren't necessarily the best deep cleaners. Because they don't agitate that well. Like... In my experience, they don't dig into the carpet that well. Because, like, this one here, the um, bristles are soft as hell. Now, you can upgrade to a better brush roll, but, yeah, no one wants to do that. So, and this thing is nice. And, and yes, people, it's a carpet muncher. And I can't really disagree with that because you can see, eh, actually, no, it didn't pick up any carpet. That's all pet hair. But, what is that whistling sound like? <laughs> somewhere. I don't even think that's the bearings or anything. It's just an air leak somewhere. I think it was this. Yeah, I think it's that. Or 
what the heck? There's a hair sticking on it. So, yeah, that's the problem with these, is dirt gets around the filter. And, no, I know I'm bad for using carpet powder at all, but sometimes you want some scent, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you just want your carpet to smell fresh. Um, now, it's not even good for your carpet and or your vacuum cleaner, but... To me, as long as it doesn't make it into your motor, it's not that big of a deal, but a lot of people disagree with that. Um, but I am more of just one of those people, if I don't see it getting into the motor, then I'm not too concerned about it. But even this, it's not making it into the motor, but that doesn't mean I purposely use it, go out of my way to use it with this. It's just this thing is picking it up. <laughs> so, yeah. But things like this power speed, I don't care. Air swivel, don't care. Max performance, don't care. Even the ultra vision, there is no way carpet powder is getting into that motor, so don't care. Um, newer Hoovers at all don't care. Smart Vac don't care. Easy Vac, yes, I do care because that thing's got the same problem as this. Um, or anything with this circular filter design. Clean P3590, don't care because it's just kind of more of a beater vac at this point. None of these I do care because, or none of these I do, or mo all of these I do care because these, well, this one doesn't have that same circular filter design, but this thing, just about everything gets through that filter, so. Yeah, and it's been restored. And it does sound a little iffy, but not horrible. So, yeah. But this thing I don't use often because of the fact that I know how easy, easy peasy it is to make these motors not sound good. Because you, if you use this thing as a daily driver for a week on your normal house dirt, like throughout your whole house, like if I vacuum my whole house with this, it would start sounding weird. So, yeah. Because this thing, clearly, there was different, like, packs or, like, crates full of these, um, bottom shelves. Because that one doesn't quite leak as bad as this one does down by the filter here. So, this one has a little worse. So, in all reality, I could literally just take the bin from that, but that one's nice and clean. So, yeah. But I do strip this one down to the motor every once in a while, although I don't like to because the more you do that, the more they won't go back together properly. But it's not too big of a deal as long as you do it properly. Don't do it every day, but as long as you do it properly, you know, make sure your screws are threading in, not cross-threading. Um, using the right screwdrivers, not over-tightening, just snugging and just doing it right. Um, they'll last a while. So, oh dear. right there for now so it's, now that it'll be out so I remember to clean it because now it needs to be cleaned I usually wash the bin assembly out and clean the brush roll up and oil the bearings after every two uses because that's really easy to do on that so yeah um throughout this whole collection what vacuum would you like to see any type of video next just be like Kirby Legend 2 natural dirt um powerful power speed packing peanuts mix one of you guys needs to actually like be like mason try out that new packing peanuts mix you're talking about because i made this mix and it's got some other goodies in it as well and i just keep not doing it and i want to just someone needs to spam it in the comments so uh, um it's just the next day and i'm going to turn this into a two vacuum natural dirt i'm going to do it again today same two rooms but with the trash find block and decker air swivel um this thing has been very reliable recently i've been using it throughout the whole house it is my daily driver um and i have had no problems with it whatsoever and i have not washed anything on it since um getting it you know i washed it when i first got it uh, the other night while i was talking to dylan dylan prayer clean shout out to him um I decided that I needed to f fix up this brush roll, but I haven't ran it since fixing it up. So hopefully it sounds better now that I fixed up this brush roll. Um, you can see how nice it looks. Because I cleaned it up real nice. So hopefully it will work better now. Well, I mean, the performance isn't going to change, but it should sound better now, more or less.
haven't done much to it otherwise. Um, I still haven't even considered ordering a new filter thing for here because I am not the worst with allergies in this house and um, I just don't really feel like spending $10 on this thing. Um, the shark crevice still actually fits on the hose. Uh, I would hope you guys can believe it. it doesn't fit on here that beautifully, but that's nice because that means I could order any nice, because shark attachments are obviously going to be better than black and decker attachments. So I could actually order like a shark turbo brush for this thing. So yeah. But it's been pretty reliable so far. Um, and it's still got the same belt on it that it had when I got it, which has tears in it like so burnt spots that it's almost like plastic because it's so burned and crusty but it still like agitates very well um you can see in here um i do i haven't washed anything but i do use my air compressor from time to time just blow everything out and like once every five uses i'll just blow everything out um but i haven't washed anything so it is obviously not perfect. Just probably got a bunch of dirt on the floor. Oh, oh. No. But, um, yeah, so. So one thing I don't like about this is if you accidentally um, take that cyclone assembly out while you have uh, dirt in there, which it doesn't, the cyclone doesn't lock into place. Like, I've taken out that filter and have the whole cyclone pop out with it. So that's a problem uh so yeah and all the dirt falls out the moment you take all that out so i mean not much fell out for me but yeah you can see it it picks up dirt um and i do use carpet powder with this thing because i'm not really that concerned doesn't seem to be making it in the motor even then i'm not that concerned just because this thing is so easy to walk on but, yeah, still, yet again, haven't even worried about buying a little switch thing for right here because I just don't find it necessary. Because you can still, you don't even need that piece. You can still just use your toe, turn it off and on. Um, one reason I don't want to put money into this is just because these wheels are very worn out. Um, and they just, sometimes they'll fall off. But, yet again, it gets the job done. And it's very lightweight. So, yeah. Uh, wash these hoses whenever I end up washing the bin for once. Um, wash the hoses again. Use my carpet powder trick. Carpet powder mixed with some kind of solvent, like simple green, or uh, stick and span, or fabuloso. In my case, I use, well, obviously the carpet powder. Basically, you put a bunch of carpet powder, dump it into your hose, and then dump a bunch of simple green into the hose and then just kind of swish your hose around and it'll really loosen up the dirt. Here's how the shark's looking. You can see it's looking pretty nice. Um, the lower hose, which is one of the hoses I did the carpet powder trick on. See, it turned out really nice. It's kind of clear, actually. So... Some carpet powder kind of gets like into these little gray things, but it'll eventually get vacuumed up. Yeah, you can see how nice that window turned out after polishing it up, spin over it all. Plus the motor in here got nice and cleaned out, lubricated. And then all this in here got dusted out because this whole thing, this whole power head got taken apart and cleaned. Otherwise, it would have been impossible to make that window look that good. And then obviously, I cleaned up the bin. Um, so that's, I didn't polish it, just cleaned it. Because um, the only part I'll really need to polish is that piece in there because that's where the dirt swirls around like crazy because of this complete bismal of a cyclone design. The reason they have it like this is because you pop off your bin, and there's your filter. There's the filter. And 
um, there's the filter. People are going to see it. Oh, shit, that looks dirty. You know, something in like a Hoover, you got to go through a little more effort to check out your filter. This one, the moment you go to empty it out, you're seeing your filter. And most people don't go out of their way to check their filter, but they do go out of their way to empty it. And then, same with this. Someone's going to go, oh, what's this latch do? Oh, this cyclone's all clogged up. Or whatever, this net thing's all clogged up. So, yeah, but this is where all that dirt swirls around in for a while, so this is very bad, but I don't really care. Um, all this got cleaned up. The seals on this thing are so cheesy. Um, honestly, the seals on my Black & Decker are better. The Black & Decker, I was just showing you guys. Um, which there will be a comparison between the two, because one of them's way cheaper than the other. This thing, the seals just peel out. And it, it, this whole thing, this whole seal fell out when I w washed this bin. And that's ridiculous. And it's like foam crappy seal, which is expected on something like a Black & Decker or this Power Speed, which even this Power Speed, I think, has a more of a foam seal, or a, like a, a rubber seal right there. rubber seal right there in there where it meets up with the cyclone. Come on, get in there. And then both this Black and Decker and this Eureka Power Speed, the Black and Decker and this Eureka Power Speed both let way less dirt and dust through the filter. This thing lets so much through the filter, it is very sad because it lets so much through the filter that this filter had to be washed because it got so dirty. So I had to wash this filter and yeah, and it gets all dirty up in here. It's just ridiculous, these sharks. Um, but I got it for free and I'm not gonna complain because it does still, I mean, I guess I am complaining, but I don't complain about it in a way where I hate it. I just don't think, or especially this model in particular, if you go to Walmart, they sell for about 100 20 120 to 130 dollars and i've seen them as high as 160 at like home depot um which i don't think is worth it considering you can get this power speed for 50 and it gets the job done um because i can tell you right now <laughs> this thing may claim sealed system uh but i don't think it is in my opinion um dust leaks out of the seal down here um when a bunch of dirt and dust goes through your pre-motor filters, that, in my opinion, also kind of breaks the record for the seal system. And then also, dirt gets around the seal on this seal here. So, yeah, not seal-worthy. And you guys can say, well, they've changed that since then. Well, no, a lot of the newer sharks have a very similar design to this. The only thing they've changed is now it's even worse. The seal is on the machine itself. At least before, whenever you replace the filter, you replace the seal as well. <clears throat> and the, on the newer ones, it's more of a rectangle or like a more of a horizontal one instead of vertical. But and I don't like how this goes in. It's like the way it has to be rounded makes it very hard to get in. And yeah, and this thing has a nice, from what I remember, rubber seal down here. Yeah, like a way nicer, heavy duty rubber seal down here. And it goes right into the bin. And I've never had dirt leak around here on this machine. The only spots this thing may or may not leak, I don't know. Um, well, there is a foam seal at the intake thing here, which isn't as big of a deal because you're not going to be getting as much dirt there. But it is a rubber seal where the hose is, and then, but the reason these can't be claimed as sealed systems is because, right, there's a switch, and you can feel air leaking around that when the thing is running. So that's why these can't claim to be sealed, and they can't really claim to be HEPA either. But it is a pretty decent machine for $50. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, the filtration on that thing is horrible. It's, it, it, it is, but it's not as bad as the Helix or... You know what have you and you can on this 
um, pop out this thing with three screws and make your own uh, filter for right here, like some kind of paper filter or something for more filtration. So yeah, for 50 bucks, you really can't beat this. Or back, like that airspeed honestly is also better than this even because that airspeed has more rubber seals, has a cyclonic technology system and way nicer hose, eh, maybe not nicer attachments, but because this one does have the wand, which I really like. For some reason I bought this because I did use this as my daily driver for a while. I have so much machines that it's not even worth having a daily driver. Although I have been using the Black & Decker as a daily driver. But yeah, let's actually get to the video. Only thing I don't like about this is very similar to the Max Swivel, because MacMaster1991 has done quite a few videos on his Max Swivel, is they're very short. They're very short machines. I mean, if you compare it to another short machine, actually, because these are also known for being short. You can see <laughs> there's quite a height difference so that's one thing but i mean it's this v2 for example isn't really that much taller because the v2 is also kind of a shorter machine it's fucking fat though <laughs> this thing is very light um you can pick it up with your pinky so it's a very nice little machine, in my opinion. And it's also got a very nice hose. Much nicer than the Power Speed hose, but still not quite as nice as the one on my Airspeed. I love the hose on my Airspeed. I cannot regret buying that green and black Airspeed there. That thing, a lot of people shit talk these, and I'm like, I need to get one for myself. So Teltech Studios posted this one on OfferUp, and I bought it instantly. Maybe not instantly, like maybe after a few days of it being posted. Um, but yeah, but I bought it nonetheless, and I do not regret that whatsoever. It is a very nice machine to use. I personally don't notice any dirt or dust leaking out of it. It stays clean, and the filter doesn't get dirty too fast either. That out of the way. This shark is still going to Troy. Um... So I'm, I'm trading that G4 for a liftoff, multi-cyclonic, and a heritage, which I much prefer all these older Kirby's over that G4, but he really wants it, so, yeah. And this thing, I still need to clean out. This thing could be possibly going away, too. Um, one of my friends needs a new vacuum, so I offered them, if they need one, I'll give them this. Because I don't need two of them, and I'll just keep my used beat up one, and they can have the brand new one. Because I can always just call over and get another one of these again, like I did with this. Because I called to get another one of these, and they sent me this. So, yeah. I'll just call Hoover and be like, send me whatever machine you want and see what happens. Because it would be cool to get something that I haven't tried out yet. This has the same thing as the dirt bevel where the um, prongs are reversed. Like the directional prongs are on different sides than all the other vacuums. The Victory will be getting a new cord soon. Because I did get a new cord for it real quick. I think I just put it under here. Yeah. It's still yet again not a very long cord, but it does have proper directional prongs. Which, this cord is so old that it doesn't even have directional prongs. Even my convertible does, I think. <laughs> but, yeah. And it's black. I mean, black is obviously going to look nicer with, with that machine than white. Even though I've kind of, the white I've kind of gotten used to because it goes with the writing on the handle and whatever. But this one's going to be way nicer and this one's also slightly longer. This is a 10-foot cord here, I believe. Um, or maybe 15 this one is a 20 or a 25, I can't remember. So, yeah.
still sounds a little funky. Not too bad though. It's this end cap or this bearing and or end cap over here. So, yeah, sounds kind of rough, but it could be worse. So, let's see what it picked up. Keep in mind, there was already a little bit of dirt in there. So, it picked up a decent bit of junk. Um... Yeah, a bunch of my rubber bands. Cat food, obviously. Let's see if it'll pick up this little mess. Let's see how it looks like. Probably horrible. This thing does not keep. Eh, about the same. The power speed and the air speed are both better at keeping your filters clean than this. Because this one has a really funky design where the dirt. Come on. Where the dirt goes up through into the cyclone directly and swirls around up in there and then gets flung out into the bin. It's kind of ridiculous how it works. Let's try using the hose. Well, it was sounding good at the beginning of the video of running it, but now it's kind of back to its old ways. It still grooms really nicely, considering this thing was very abused. Yeah, it appears to have picked up what you put down. But not all of the gritty stuff because it doesn't do the best with that it's more of just a surface cleaner more or less but it does it does get down and get some of the deep down shit but not perfectly not in that type of carpet that carpet is miserable to clean none of my vacuums do a good job on that carpet honestly so. eh, actually it appears to have picked up all that gritty shit now the filter's probably bad it's done so much was going in there at a time Actually, not as bad as I was expecting. And no carpet powder makes it up to this filter. And when I say gritty stuff, I mean carpet powder. That's what that, that is. So yeah, it appears to work. It's a decent little machine, not like 
perfect machine, but it's probably better than what's what's that thing that Intel Tech Studios and performance reviews have recently gotten for free to review? Um, that Musu thing, that Musu Upright, which is more just like a um, UK Hoover Breeze. Um, but uh, oh well, I, I'm assuming that was already like that. It's got like a stress mark down there. I've already kind of abused the hell out of this machine, honestly. Not really, though. I mean, I've used it on some quite messy jobs, but not horrible. Ew, what is that on the board? Ugh, I don't know what that is. But yeah. I did have a piece of cardboard on here for a while to kind of act as a pedal, but it fell off. the job done without it. I mean, it actually performs better without it, if you think about it, because it's got more airflow. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more. Peace.